It's an absolute <laughs> thrill to, to have you oh, here. Oh, thank you very much. I'm a fan, you know. Oh, well, thank uh, you very oh, much. Oh, yeah. Oh. I like the way you move. You move pretty good. <laughs> Dick Van Dyke is an American actor, singer, dancer, comedian, and producer. He first attained fame from his radio and stage career, and then went on to play his breakthrough role of Bob Petrie in CBS's The Dick Van Dyke Show. He also served in the United States Air Force during World War II. Dyke became a computer animation enthusiast in 1991. His passion was seen in The Dick Van Dyke Show Revisited, and Diagnosis Murder, where he used his 3D rendering effects. He has also displayed his computerized imagery work at SIGGRAPH. The veteran actor is the recipient of numerous awards, including the SAG Life Achievement Award. He blew me away. Oh, so funny and so original. And then I find out you're not a trained dancer. No, no, I'm not. I never even thought about dancing until I was in my 30s, till I had to. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Welcome back to Net Worth Now where you get to see the lifestyle and net worth of your favorite celebrities. We hope you enjoy these videos, and if you do, please remember to hit the like button and comment below who your favorite celebrity is so we can feature them in an upcoming video. His full name is Richard Wayne Van Dyke, also known as Wayne. He was born on December 13, 1925 in West Plains, Missouri, United States making him 95 years old at the time of this production. He stands at 6 feet 1 inch or 185 centimeters tall. His hobbies include golfing, sailing, spending time with his family, dancing, traveling, comedy, playing the piano, using the computer, Bible, praying, and singing. Van Dyke is sober and struggled with alcoholism in his past and checked into hospital for three weeks in 1972 to be treated for his addiction. Van Dyke was a heavy smoker for most of his adult life. In a January 2013 interview with the London Daily Telegraph, he said he had been using Nicorette gum for the past decade. In April 2013, Van Dyke revealed that for seven years he had been experiencing symptoms of neurological disorder, in which he felt a pounding in his head whenever he lay down. But despite his undergoing tests, no diagnosis had been made. He had to cancel scheduled appearances due to fatigue from lack of sleep because of this medical condition. In May 2013, he tweeted that it seemed his titanium dental implants may be responsible. On February 12, 1948, while appearing at the Chapman Park Hotel on Wilshire Boulevard in Los Angeles, he and the former Marjorie Willett were married on the radio show Bride and Groom. They had four children, Christian, Barry, Stacy, and Carrie Beth. They divorced in 1984 after a long separation. In 1976, Van Dyke began his relationship with longtime companion Michelle Triola Marvin. They lived together for more than 30 years until she died in 2009. On February 29, 2012, at the age of 86, Van Dyke married 40-year-old makeup artist Arlene Silver. They had met six years earlier at the SAG Awards. You have to be an iconic dancer. You have to be a fantastic dancer, and you just did it. I, well, I, I had Gower Champion, who was the director and the choreographer Bye Bye Birdie. Yeah. Van Dyke was born to Hazel Victoria, a stenographer, and Lauren Wayne Cookie Van Dyke, a salesman. He grew up in Danville, Illinois. He is the older brother of actor Jerry Van Dyke, who appeared as his brother in The Dick Van Dyke Show. Van Dyke is a Dutch surname, although he has English, Irish, and Scottish ancestry. His family line traces back to Mayflower passenger John Alden. In his youth, Van Dyke considered a career in the ministry, although a drama class in high school convinced him to become a professional entertainer. Throughout his acting career, he continued to teach Sunday school in the Presbyterian Church where he was an elder, and he continued to read such theologians as Martin Buber, Paul Tillich, and Dietrich Bonhoeffer. During the late 1940s, Dick Van Dyke served as a radio DJ in Danville. In 1947, he formed a comedy duo with pantomime performer Phil Erickson, called Eric and Van, the Merry Mutes. The duo first toured the West Coast nightclub circuit, 
and then brought their act to Atlanta in the early 1950s. Then they performed in a local TV show featuring original skits and music titled The Merry Mutes. Dyke then started his career on television through a comedy program on WDSU-TV New Orleans Channel 6, now NBC. His first appearance on the network TV was in James' Chance of a Lifetime in 1954. During his early career, the actor also appeared on NBC's The Polly Bergen Show and ABC's The Pat Boone Chevy Showroom. In November 1959, he made his Broadway debut in the play The Girls Against the Boys. From April 1960 to October 1961, he played the lead role of Albert Peterson in the play Bye Bye Birdie. In 1961, Dyke was approached for the sitcom The Dick Van Dyke Show. He eventually agreed to appear in the drama as Rob Petrie alongside veteran actors Maury Amsterdam, Rose Marie, Richard Deacon, Anne Morgan Gilbert, and Carl Reiner. He landed his first film role in 1963 when he played the lead role of Albert Peterson in the movie version of Bye Bye Birdie. Soon after this, Dyke was cast in two roles in Walt Disney's Mary Poppins. He next had a role in the comedy drama The Comic, which was written and directed by Carl Reiner. The American legend starred in the sitcom The Dick Van Dyke Show from 1971 to 1974, where he played a local television talk show host. In 1973, he lent his voice to the final episode titled Scooby-Doo Meets Dick Van Dyke in Hanna-Barbera's The New Scooby-Doo Movies. Dyke then returned to comedy in the year 1976 with a sketch comedy show called Van Dyke and Company. In 1980, he played the title role in a Broadway revival of The Music Man. During the rest of the decade, he did mostly TV films. One of the artist's roles was a murdering judge on an episode of the series Matlock. In 1987, he guest starred in an episode of a TV series Airwolf with his son Barry Van. Two years later, Dyke appeared on NBC's The Golden Girls. In 1990, he took a minor but villainous role as D.A. Fletcher in Warren Beatty's movie, Dick Tracy. He portrayed a doctor in the media drama Scrubs in 2003. After this, the actor made a guest appearance as Dr. Jonathan Maxwell in the series Murder 101. In 2006, he returned to motion pictures and appeared in the movie Night at the Museum. Three years later, he reprised his role in the film's sequel called Night at the Museum, Battle of the Smithsonian. Dyke played a role once again in the third movie, Night at the Museum, Secret of the Tomb in 2014. In 2010, he appeared in the children's album, Rhythm Train. He rapped on one of the album's songs. In 2017, he released his first solo album, Step Back in Time. He also recorded a duet single with actress Jane Lynch. This song titled, We're Going Caroling, was released as a Christmas track that year. Choreographer, Bye Bye Birdie. Yeah. And he said, we'll teach you. And he did. And it was a discovery like flying. I said, where has this been all my life? I just loved it. The primary source of his wealth is film and television. The actor has earned money from acting, directing, producing, and screenwriting. Moreover, he also made millions of dollars from brand endorsements. He is also a published author and has earned money from various books such as Alter Egos, Those Funny Kids, Keep On Moving, and Other Tips and Truths About Aging. As of 2001, his net worth is estimated to be around $50 million. The successful actor currently lives in his house in Malibu, California. The property is worth nearly $9 million and the Van Dyke House features a spacious kitchen, swimming pool, four bedrooms, and three bathrooms. In his garage, you will find a Volkswagen Beetle. A Jaguar XJ. A BMW. and a Mercedes CLK.